people who play the piano. Many of them learned when they were very young. But if you get the chance to meet someone as good as Charlie Albright is, at his age, you'll likely never forget him. Seven Lives' John Yeager introduced us to this child prodigy back in 1993. Well, today, John follows up on this amazing child in Positively Northwest. Keep working. I see some beautiful things. Every kid is special. I see some wonderful looking dinosaurs here. But when you're in second grade, there are many things that everyone does. After you have finished putting the Ceratosaurus teeth where you think they should be. The kids in Debbie Getty's class have been studying dinosaurs for about a month. Charlie Albright is getting it. Is he going to be able to eat a what for lunch, do you think? A long neck. Sure. Andy. Charlie loves science, but nothing comes to him as naturally as music. Four years ago, this was Charlie Albright playing, well, you know the song. It is a small world when your feet can't even reach the pedals. But today, Charlie's world is getting bigger. He is a uh, typical eight years old boy. Just typical, um, never cleans up his room unless if mama tells him to do. He loves computers and we have to set a rules. Otherwise he'll be sitting in front of the computer all day long. I give up. He has a God-given talent who can play music without any note. He can hear the music and he can copy it. He seems like he loves to play fast music. When he became three years old, he was all of a sudden playing this Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or London Bridges. And I asked him, Charlie, who touched that? And uh, he says, nobody. Why do you like to play the piano? I don't know. <laughs> Because it's fun. Some people spend their whole life trying to learn how to play as well as you do right now. Why do you think it's so easy for you? Because God gave me a talent. <laughs> But it's his teacher's job to hone that talent and push him. Good, good. So once a week, he travels to Nancy Adzit's place in Olympia. I think Charlie's promising. I think he's very good. And he's got a whole long way to go because he's played by ear most of his life. And when he came a year ago, I told him I felt my job was to teach him to read the music and put into his fingers what's on the page. Yeah, I, I would start that near the first tempo. It's tempo one. You're tough on him. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I like to sit back there and smile all the time. But, uh, well, I think he deserves it. He deserves everything I can tell him to help him do his job. Nancy just wants Charlie to go as far with his music as he possibly can. And right now, there's no way of knowing just how far that will be. He's got a wonderful ear and a natural gift. What direction he takes with all of that just depends on Charlie. John Yeager. Cairo News for Positively Northwest. Much better. And his little feet can reach the pedals now. Charlie, if you're watching, we'd love to have you come right here on the show and play for us. Incredible. At eight years old. Wow. Well, that, 
that could be the end of our show, but we have so much more ahead. So stay with us. Coming up, uh, we are going to be uh, telling you about the governor, Governor Gary Locke.